This is what it's like staying at a $1,200 luxury Japanese hotel. So we decided to take a family trip down here in the Izu area, just about three hours south of Tokyo. And since we're only staying one night, we decided to stay at a luxury hotel and we wanted to share that experience with all of you. So let me start in the beginning where they picked us up at the station. So after an express train ride just under 3 hours from Tokyo, we were picked up by the hotel staff waiting for us at the gate. Luckily, the shuttle ride itself was less than 5 minutes from the station. So this is our Japanese style ryokan hotel spot for today. Taberu Oyado Hamanoyu. Perched right in front of the beach offering a serene atmosphere with the soothing sound of the ocean waves. It's known for its exceptional dining experience, top level service and stylish guest rooms with private owns and baths. So we knew we couldn't go wrong. While standard rooms are available at a rate of around 26,500 yen per person, we decided to go all in for their 160,000 yen $1200 luxury suite with an in-room private onsen bath. To see what it's all about. Okay, so we are just arriving at the lobby area right now. We are waiting to check in and this place looks pretty amazing so far. Oh nice, they're letting us choose the yukata. Don't mind if we do. What's pretty dope is that we have an in-room check-in, so we don't have to wait in the lobby. Common in luxury ryokans makes life just a bit easier when you're with a two-year-old. Okay, so she just brought us into the room and we're actually doing the check-in process here, which is nice. Um, and then she's just gonna go get some drinks right now. <laughs> Oh, we have a little accident. Michael and I are kind of used to it, but I'm sure it's annoying for some people, especially when they don't have kids. Luckily, the staff here are super understanding and graciously helped us clean up. Seriously, it's these small things that we truly appreciate when staying at a hotel. Japan, in my personal experience, given its omotenashi culture, can't be beat. So I think it's gonna take a little bit more time to check in, so let me tour the room. The room itself is quite spacious in Japan at 120 square meters, 1300 square feet, which includes a Japanese style tatami room, living room with an ocean view, which gives the room an even more expansive feel. This is the bedroom area which has these twinny twin twins. So one of the issues always is having two separate beds, but it looks like at this place you can put the beds together. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. Now Wolfie can jump to his heart's content. <laughs> oh. oh, and the side cabinets have adjustable lights oh. and reading lights. Yeah. And this is a changing room fully supplied with amenities. Oh sweet, the bathroom has its own TV built into the wall. You can take a bath and watch TV at the yeah. same time. Yeah, uh, what TV? <laughs> yes, yeah. If you, if you take a bath, what do you want to watch? Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh damn, this space egg looking thing is Toto's new toilet washlet. Apparently it has the latest and greatest self-cleaning technology and some other unique features. I think Michael and Wolfie are outside. Let's see what they're doing. Hey, what are you guys doing? <laughs> and this is definitely the highlight of the room. A real deal onsen bath built into the room. Also known as a rotenburo in Japanese. We've stayed in a room with a rotenburo before. But this for sure is the biggest bath yet. And most litty. And Wolfie is having fun already. <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> it's so So there's a bunch of panels right here. Let's see what's going on. Nice, they've also got a decent drink bar and even juice for Wolfie.
Okay, so that's all we were looking for. Whoa! They didn't actually have a beer glass, or maybe there's one somewhere around, but let's just stick with the wine glass for now. That hits the spot. Okay, you want to drink with daddy? Let's pour your glass here too. So usually in previous hotel videos, I've done this by myself, but this time I've got a partner in crime. Say, come by. Come by. Yay, good job. So this hotel room itself is pretty impressive. It has an amazing view just right in front of the ocean. And then right here to the side of us, you have living area, but you can also just lay out futons. And then there's two beds right here. So you can potentially have, I don't know, four, six, eight people in this room if you like really really wanted to pack it. I don't know if you actually can. Definitely comfortable for the three of us. One of the nice things is that it does have the onsen outside. If you really want to, you can go upstairs. There is a public onsen that you can enjoy. But since we are a family and Wolfie, it's harder to go to like onsen and do that kind of thing with him. So we'd rather just get one that's like built into the room. Pretty perfect because it's right in front of the ocean. So yeah, this place is amazing. So now we just kind of are gonna chill and then food is gonna be coming at 5.30. Oh, Wolfie, you know I'm not looking at you and now you're doing it with one hand. Daddy, two more hits. <laughs> hey, don't blame me. Two hands, this show. Look, Wolfie, two hands. Okay, dinner time. It's quite nice how the server quietly prepares the table while allowing us to relax in the room. Dog. So the food has just actually arrived and it looks amazing. One of the nicest things about a Japanese hotel and going to a luxury hotel is that they serve the food right inside of your hotel room. Daddy, daddy. I love you too. Tonight, she's serving a traditional Japanese course and throughout the entire dinner, she'll expertly explain each intricate dish, which allows you to truly appreciate and get a sense of how much time and preparation went into each one. And the highlight of Japanese cuisine is not only that it's deliciously balanced, but it's also a feast for the eyes. The cuisine's delicate and beautiful presentation is achieved through the extensive use of seasonal ingredients, often including flowers and leaves as decorative elements. <laughs> so Japanese ryokan hotels typically use local ingredients and specialties in their courses. So in this case, we were presented with an assortment of local seafood, which we are more than happy to enjoy. This is worth noting though if you're planning on staying at ryokans all throughout Japan. Yeah. And so this is awabi right here. Let's put some lemon. I have a little butter as well. You can see the oils dripping. Let me just take a bite. Mm, I can't believe how soft and buttery it is. Sometimes when people cook awabi, it's just a little bit too like tough and hard, but this is so soft and tender. This is amazing. And then just paired with the butter and the lemon, this brings out all of the flavors. Over here are the clams and it comes in this little bowl. Let's pour it here a little bit. Just like so. Bam. Wow, oh, there's so much umami in this soup. Oh. <laughs> oh. Look at all of this fresh ship served on a boat. That is amazing. It even says de Guzman and it says Madu, which is like ship de Guzman. It is literally as big as my body. So this is like super fresh. Wasabi, you can see that they've already like kind of pre-cut it here for you. So here you go, this is what fresh wasabi looks like. Whoa, it's getting to my eyes just a little bit. Let's taste this. Oh, woo, that'll clean you out. That's amazing. All right, so we got the Maguro right here.
that is so fresh. Seriously, there is nothing like making your own wasabi. This is awesome. So one thing about this place is that they're known for food, but like more so than that amount of food you get, if you have more of like a Western stomach and wanna have just a little bit more than usual, then this is like probably one of the places that you should go because the servings are just so much. <laughs> Following that beautifully ginormous boatload of fish, broiled kin medai, red sea brim was served in a rich, sweet, and savory sauce. They also serve kamameshi, which is rice cooked in an iron pot, seasoned also with kin medai, amongst other delectable ingredients. Oh yeah, and let me not forget the tepan grilled black haired wagyu beef from Yamagata, which was perfectly marbled and melted in my mouth. My only wish is that I had more of it. And the course was finished off with fresh strawberry and strawberry mousse. So before we continue on, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If you all don't already know, Squarespace is the number one way to build your online presence. In fact, I use Squarespace for my website, Tokyo Zebra. Here are just some of the reasons why I love using Squarespace so much. Whether you're starting your passion project, project or building a business, Squarespace has all the tools to get it done while also looking ultra sleek and professional at the same time. They support numerous portfolios and gallery designs which you can customize and even password protect so the right people see your work. Use its fully integrated blogging tools and commenting features such as threaded comments, replies, and likes to help engage your community. And my personal favorite, built-in analytics to see how your visits, unique visitors, and page views trend over time. So there you go, go to squarespace.com today for your free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com for it's Aspala from Tokyo and get 10% off your first domain or website. Oh, you got it. One thing I should note though, since ryokan serve a coarse meal, it often takes a few hours to enjoy all of the dishes, which may bored little kids like Wolfie, so we brought along a puzzle for him to play while we enjoy the food. <gasps> Okay, so that was dinner. Pretty amazing. There's just so much stuff from the appetizer to the wagyu to the awabi and then now dessert. This has all been brilliant. And finally, onsen time. Yeah! Since this is natural onsen water flowing directly from the spring, it's often scalding hot when it comes out. So it's best to check the temperature of the bath before getting in. And usually you can simply adjust the temperature by adding cold water. So this is stunning. You have the waves crashing right there. We're having an onsen bath just outside after dinner. This couldn't be any more perfect. Literally, if you are looking for a place to get out of Tokyo, maybe a couple hours south of Tokyo, and just take a little one-day trip, then this is perfect. Or you can even stay longer, especially if you're with friends. It turned off! He's like a samurai. How do you feel, Michael? I'm good. Happy with food, service, room, onsen, everything. It's really good here. Okay, so <laughs> looks like Wolfie decided to get out of his yukata. Wasn't feeling it. So one thing I just wanted to say is that this is actually a really good escape for our family. Sometimes we don't get a lot of these kind of weekend excursions because we're just like in Tokyo, busy with work and all the other stuff that's going on. So once in a while, it is nice to get out. It may be a little bit expensive, but you know, we don't really do this so much. So it is nice to be able to do this. Let me know in the comments if you guys want to see more videos like this or if you guys want to see like me go to cheaper hotels what area or if you want me to go to even more expensive hotels and show you that let me know in the comments <laughs> Good morning y'all, we slept pretty good today. Um, it is about, I think, 7.15, 7.30. Breakfast should be coming at eight. So we have just a little bit of time before the food comes. So I think we just need to, you know, 
do our morning routine. <gasps> Where are you going? Okay, okay. You wanna, you wanna go see over there? You gotta change your diaper. So although Wolfie is still two years old, he'll be turning three a month from now. If you've seen our previous hotel videos, whether it be the Hotel in the Clouds, Disney Resort, or even Nintendo Hotel, you'll notice how much he's grown. It's amazing to see how far he's come and we appreciate all of you letting us share these moments. It's beautiful, huh? Yeah, it's so pretty. It smells nice, but I feel like it smells nice. It's me. Okay. <laughs> You sleep? You sleeping? Yeah. <laughs> now, time for the in-room breakfast. Take a look at the stunning presentation. A traditional Japanese breakfast typically features an array of small dishes, each meant to complement the perfectly cooked white rice. So look at this stunning breakfast. There is so much right here, it's so much going on. And look, we even have a boatload of fish right here. This is amazing. Who wouldn't want to wake up to this? And I just noticed the ship has Wolfie's name on it this morning. It's amazing. And just look at this. This is what you get for breakfast. Look at all of these little dishes that you get to try. If you're staying in one of Japan's beachside areas, you may also have the opportunity to try Himono, a local delicacy of sun-dried fish, which helps to infuse it with a rich umami flavor. And then you get a full soup. Mm, it's like a bean curd with all this vegetable goodness inside and then umami rich dashi. You're gonna have a bagna cloudy thing, wow. To be honest with you, I don't even know if I can eat all this food because it's a lot for breakfast. I mean, they're really living up to their name here. Just look how much food there is. Do you guys think you can eat this much food for breakfast? And it was considered that they prepared rice and miso for Wolfie. So before we check out, we actually want to go check out the onsen upstairs and show you guys what it's like. So unfortunately I can't show you the public bath area, well for obvious reasons. But here are some quick photos from their website. Pretty stunning, so if you don't get the in-room onsen, you can still onsen in style here. Luckily I ran into one of the staff who was super kind to show us the private onsens. Apparently three private outdoor baths guests can reserve for free. and even private spa rooms that are paid reservations, which he explained are so popular that they're always booked. Either way, the onsen facilities here are fantastic, well worth considering, especially for couples. The Ryokan also has a small shop conveniently at the entrance so you can pick up a souvenir or two to bring back home for yourself or for family and friends. Hello. Oh, hello. Alright, so that was us staying at a luxury hotel. If you guys like this video, help us out and hit that like button. If you guys want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and the bell button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Mommy, what's in this house? Oh. Okay.